Jackie, your nerdy crafter. With Halloween quickly approaching, I've got numerous requests to do something Halloween themed. And what better represents Halloween than candy? And since I can't cram in all types of candies in one tutorial, this week you guys are getting three different kinds of gummies in one tutorial. Firstly is this adorable sour cherry, next is a gummy wedge, and finally a sour coke bottle. If you guys want more candy tutorials, hold on to your horses. This week is also a collaboration with my friend from Nonchance Creations. So make sure you go over there and check out her tutorial as well. Here's what you'll need for this project. Green and red for the cherry, dark brown and yellow for the cola, and you're going to mix all these colors with some translucent white. And the ratio is going to look something like this. So every time you have a piece of translucent that is about this big, you're going to take a piece of color that's about that big. A cutter, circle cutters or straws. If you don't have a circle cutter, make sure you watch my tutorial right here on how to make your own circle cutter. Translucent liquid Sculpey, some fine sand, rubbing alcohol and a q-tip to clean up your piece, and finally some glaze. For the cherry, it's fairly simple. Take your red that's mixed with translucent and your green mixed with translucent and let's work on it. The first thing you're going to do with your red is make it into a ball and then flatten it out so that it's kind of an ovalish circle. Once you have your cherry, take your translucent green mix, make a long stem out of it so that it has a smaller tip in the front and a chubbier tip at the end. Now place your stem on top of the cherry, smooth it in back and forth. Don't worry if the colors blend in a little because usually gummies have blended colors. Once you have this piece, start flattening the top and making a leaf shape out of it. Once you have this shape, bend the tip so that you're getting something that looks like this, not smooth it out. Once you have your gummy cherries, put some translucent liquid Sculpey and then dunk them in the sand. Now put it aside. Now for the wedge gummies, you're going to take your white, green and red clay and you're going to mix it in with some translucent. Once you have these colors, you're going to flatten out the inside part of your wedge first. So about this thickness should do. Once you have this piece, you're going to cut it out with a circle cutter. Once you have this piece, take your cutter and slice it right down the middle. Now take your white clay and place a border. Now take your green and do the exact same thing, but on the outside and a little thicker. Once you have this piece, smooth it down with your fingers so that they seem like they're one piece. There you go. Put some translucent liquid Sculpey in your fingers and then dip it in the sand. Here it is. Now make as many different color variations as you'd like. For the cola, you're going to mix in some yellow with your translucent white for the top part and some brown with your translucent for the bottom part. Once you have these two pieces, stick them together. Once you have this piece, roll it into a log. And now we're going to start shaping it. And the shape is not that hard. What you're going to do is you're going to make the bottom flat and then you're going to curve it inwards and make the center part sticking out a little more and then you're going to make the muzzle right at top. I find it easier to work with it when it's upside down. Take your cutter and remove the excess. Now take your pointy tool and make three lines in the middle. Now the process for the sugar is the same at this point. Once you have all your gummies, bake them for 8 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Once your pieces are baked, you're going to have to glaze them. That way you're keeping the sugar sealed on there. When you're glazing it, don't rub the brush against it. Just dab it right on top. Once you glaze everything, let it completely dry before using it. All done! I love trick-or-treating and sometimes I can get away with it because I'm short. And by far my favorite treats are chocolate bars. And my least favorite were those taffy granny type candies that you chew forever and it would just never end and they were just disgusting. What's your favorite and most hated type of candy? Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out Notchan's Creation Candy Tutorial as well. Next week is also going to be a Halloween type themed tutorial. If you make any of my creations, make sure to hashtag me NerdyCrafter on Instagram or add it on my Facebook. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Until then, I will see you guys next week.